continuum hypothesis is the first problem in the list of Hilbert's 23 problems. Let's try to understand it. Suppose you have a finite set A. Cardinality of the set is defined as the number of elements of that set, which 6 in this case. Now let's consider the set of all integers. Clearly there are infinitely many but let's define it as all f0. Now consider the set of real numbers. Let's define its cardinality as all f1. The continuum hypothesis says that there cannot be a set whose cardinality lies between these two numbers. Now you might question, how did we know which one is greater? Well, to understand that, let's understand this. This is the set of all integers and this is of all reals. Don't ask what are a b and c, they are just the successive element of the real set. Intuitively you might think the cardinality of the real set is greater than that of the set of integers. But notice one thing. We can establish one-to-one -one correspondence between the elements of the integer and real set. So the cardinality of the integer and the real set must be same. But guess what? It's not. As was proven by Georg Cantor. More precisely, it's this. This hypothesis was proven to be unsolvable. In other words, this hypothesis can neither be proven, not be disproven probably because of the lack of available theories. However, we are still not sure whether the proof that the hypothesis is unsolvable, is the solution of the problem. It's still open to many controversies and debates.